Hello and welcome, I'm Marumba. Thank you for joining me. Let's play some more of Arthea the Awakening. Uh, let's look at or let's play. We're gonna go ahead and choose some more resources or, or something here. Um, we could do wicker, we could do monster bones. I'm gonna keep on doing gathering materials because it seems to be the thing where we're typically lacking. Um, scaled leather. I'm gonna go with, um, I wanna go all the way to like the, the very edge item. And wood seems to be quite interesting to me. We'll go for dryad wood. Black wood that releases golden resin when cut. Very rare, but items crafted from it are very high quality. Sure, why not? So Dryad Wood is apparently somewhere going to be available on the map. I, I don't know how big this map is. There's no mini-map. It appears to be very big, and the mouse, like this... Wow, the scroll speed is so slow. How big is this freaking map? And why is there no mini-map? Oh, there it is. Well, that's convenient. Okay, so that's where the steel was that we had researched. This this desperately needs a mini-map. Or some, some way to scroll faster. Make sure that those... What is that? Five crows. Doesn't come any closer. Hey, we have some bees. Let's attack the bees. Sergey, You're our man. So, bees do very small amounts of damage and they do poison. They're very, very weak. They also seem to be very fast, so they, they go first. They never like seem to actually be anything in the description that says that they do that, but they, they tend to play ahead of your current guy. But he's got the ability to tank all that damage, so... That's gonna do... Now why did you go there? What the hell? Alright, well, let's just try to reduce the amount of damage that he's going to take. I'm confused by why he played here. This is very strange. So now my guy that actually has defense is not going to get hit by that bee. Beats me. This is not the way I expected the, camp the combat to go, but we've confused almost all of them, so we'll just take four damage on Bartosh. And then everything will die. Actually, Bartosh might get hit twice. Oh, he's gonna get hit again, yeah. Damn. He's gonna hit really hard. I don't understand why he, he played ahead of Sergei. Oh well. He'll, he'll live. I don't want to I don't want to camp every turn. I'm not going to do it. Okay. So, Miss Scribber got even better at crafting and all you guys have picked up bunches of stuff. And perception faint craft. Cool, more crafting is good. I should have camped because that would cause him to heal faster, shouldn't I? Yeah, Bartosh is only at 8 HP with no tank. Alright, don't play in the wrong order this time, okay?
Hmm. You'll probably attack Maya for one whole damage. And get rid of your last card. Then we can confuse that guy and then play Bartosh. It's so like their entire. See, it should not do that. I'm just hoping Bartosh, you know, doesn't get hit. I want to get to some of the, like, more challenging fights, because just fighting, like, five really, really weak guys is just not particularly interesting anymore. Alright. Expedition 2 is still fine. Hey, look, we can actually move two tiles in one turn. What the hell? Might as well, let's go scouting a little bit. How are you doing? You still okay? He's doing okay. He's got more firewood available because that's what he's collecting. Now, the different types of food that you bring, um, I don't remember where I read this. It was under, like, it was not under equipment, it was somewhere. Under supplies, I think. We only have five turns worth of supplies here. Just meat. That's all we have. Ah, uh, here it was. So, current supplies. So, group size 6, movement points 5, food supplies equals 5. Yeah, so... Food varieties carried. So, depending on the types of varieties that you carry, you can actually gain potential bonuses. I think it's just random. I'm not sure what you get, or maybe if you get all of them, I, I don't know, but carrying a nice diverse set of foods is a good idea. Let's just head straight to the cosmic tree, I don't really care about that, that fight up there. But look, we can actually move a lot of territory over here. What is that? That is... something. I would assume it's coal. You find the skeletal remains of a person, most likely an elf. That looks hideous. As their bones have a slight silver tinge and are more lighter, much lighter than any other humanoid you know. On the body, you discover a scroll that enrolls as you as you touch it. There's a smell of burning wood in the air, and the scroll itself seems to be warm to the touch. Yeah, why not? And so the cosmic tree stood in flames, and with it, the world burned alike. For as the canopy burned, so did the skies turn red, and the heavens were no more. As the core burned, the earth scorched. Fields turned to ash and Thea became a wasteland. Finally, as the roots burned, so did the gates to the underworld, and thus the souls of the dead could find no refuge, no peace, no purpose. Obviously, read all the notes carefully. Note 1. It is written in a beautiful style, impeccable, neat, and very distinct. It reads, and so our duty failed. Did we fail our charges? Did we abandon them too soon, or were we never supposed to do it in the first place? Should I have guarded the sacred pillars more vigorously? Keeper of the knowledge. There's an old map with a groove mark on it. No two is scribbled in a hurry by an unknown author. The elves seem to diminish our work, no surprise there. I must get to this get to this grove before they can meddle with mankind again. Very well. It's cosmic tree, cosmic tree, so we gotta head back. The way we came. God, it's so tempting to be able to march more than one freaking tile at a time. Well. Alright, those guys are dangerous. During the night, one of your villages villagers discovers an intruder in the granary. The doors to the storage are ajar, and a small furry creature covered in your flower stares at you. He has yellow eyes, sharp teeth, and smells of rotten eggs. Wait, you've read about this one. Okay. This creature is a clear is clearly a trickster of sorts. It's a nasty house demon looking to strangle you in your sleep. If you're not sure why it would be in the granary, still. If it's a trickster, let's kill it. You kill the creature without any trouble. But as it dies, it explodes in a cone of green goo that now smells not only of rotten eggs, but dead meat as well. Some of your people become ill. Damn. <laughs> 
Okay, so I'm assuming that that's saying that people here are ill. Deforming curse. It doesn't actually have any modifiers on their, their health. Unless it happened in Expedition 2. No. Okay, they are definitely going to kill my guy. I bet if those bats, those crows attacked him on, by himself, he would die. Just straight up die. You come across a hidden stash and it looks like whatever is inside may still be intact. You have your loot safe in hand, but you can hear something approaching fast, perhaps a guardian of the stash. You have time to run, but maybe the creature hides more goodies. We've gained some dark wood, some scaled leather, and some gold. Ooh, a level 3 fight! Let's do it! You stand your ground and face the approaching enemy. The air seems to get thicker and the ground feels shaky, and a sudden raising of the fog makes it hard to see who your assailant is. You feel a hint of dread in your heart. Do it anyway! I don't care, it's just wild boars. Let's kill them! Wild boars with a stash of gold. <laughs> of course! Why not? Ah, oh, nice, we got all of our guys who have tank. So, okay. I'm gonna put the guy with the least tank, most damage in the front. First position. And then we're going to put the guy with uh, kind of balance after him. He's only got two boars that are going to be able to attack in the first turn. They've got 16 damage. Wow. Okay, so they do a lot. And they have some armor. So, Bosco and Sergei are going to kill Wild Boar number one. 27 damage, we do more than that. So Wild Boar number one is just dead. Wild Boar number two would be great if we could confuse... He's level five, I can't confuse him, I'm not good enough. Um, there's a chance that one of those boars is level 4 counter tactics. Let's try it. Yep, nice. So we only have to deal with one more tactical boar. Pretty sure it's not going to be a level 3, so I'm not going to try using counter tactics. It would just fail and we, we waste our unit. Confuse won't work because... Um, because these are two, two higher targets. Now, Maya, you only have 11, you have 22 HP. You can tank only one hit. You only have 18, no, you have 21 HP. So if this wild boar targets Sergei, he'll survive barely. Alright, I'm gonna play Maya. He's gonna put his boar in the front line, most likely. Confused. No, he played counter tactics. No, that's not true. He played first to act. So now you're gonna do 18 damage to you. Okay, so we have two people then who are going to take damage. You're going to take a big hit, but you're okay. Oh, crap, that boar is going to kill her. Well, we know from earlier in the campaign that when they go to zero, they don't die. They just... They, uh... Get down to really low HP. I think. So I get to go first. Sixteen damage to your fifteen. Play you first. Your most recently played offensive card advances to the top of the queue. If the card's level is higher than first action level, a card played earlier. So because first action is only level 2, I can't move Bartosh to the front. Alright, looks like Boyana might just bite the bullet here. 
50% chance, assuming the wild boar attacks her, because she can't kill him. Yeah. Crap. Well, I sure hope that we don't lose any, uh... Like, actually lose characters, but... I've, I was asking for a stronger fight. You have won the challenge. Turns out, these are simply some boars defending their turf or searching for prey. Still, you search the reins, hoping for some extra resources, and we've gained... Leather. Enchanted bones. Wicker. Fur leather. And lots of injuries. You got all you could, time to move on. Well, we are definitely going to make camp. And we're going to gather the wood and meat that's nearby. And we're going to sit around until these guys are healed up. So we're doing gathering. Um... gather what we can. Okay. Um, you think those crows are going to come kill him? Maybe. Let's just have him go home. I don't want him to get hurt. Why do you only have two movement? An unusually big and strange looking black rooster was seen perusing your village barn. You suspect this may be a cross propsy, a domesticated field demon who can bring great fortune to its host. But beware, if it deems you to be a bad farmer, it may instead damage your crops and play nasty tricks. Alright, sure, let's try it. He seems happy with your work, and so your people bring in more crops from the fields and your gardens give more fruit. Sweet. Skeleton tomb. And we've leveled up. Gathering strength div divination. He's gotten better at speech. Why do you constantly only have two movements? Are you overweight? I think the expedition's carrying too much. Yeah, he's at 557 out of 400 weight. That's why he can't move. How did this happen? Too much firewood. Put 10 firewood on the ground. Wait, the firewood weighs how much again? 10 each. So let's just drop 6 more. Looks like we don't waste the resources, so that's nice. sure that he has at least one unit to uh, actually camp. And how's Expedition 1's health? Six wound. This is kind of silly. It gives you like a scroll bar, but then if you like move the mouse, it doesn't always stay on him. I don't know. So you have a six wound. Seven wound. We need to come back from that. I think they heal two wound damage per turn. And how are you guys doing on food? Wrong one. Only two turns worth of food. That's not good. I'm one, two, three, four, five turns away. We need to send out an expedition to meet them. So we're going to go to manage the town. New expedition. I need somebody who can carry a lot. Nizia can carry 450. We're going to create an expedition with her. We're going to give her some food. Give her, like, I don't know, five bits of firewood. 
Maybe ten. No, I mean, I, it, it, it weighs a lot. We're gonna give her um, a mix of food. We have tons of vegetables. So we're gonna give her, like, I don't know. Let's see how much this weighs. She can carry, apparently, 750. It's pretty good. We have not enough meat. Too many vegetables. We're really, really overproducing vegetables right now. Alright, so she's gonna do that, and... She's gonna have to go try to meet them. And we're gonna probably need to break camp next turn. So that means we have one task that's not being done. That's okay. Oh, let me guess. Are you guys over limit too? Damn it, they are. So we can't carry all this stuff. Way too much wood. Okay, so gathering all this wood everywhere I stop is uh, it's, it's a lot. We need to drop at least like 28 wood. Looks like 27 wood. 28, somewhere around there. Let's just go for 28. I can't do math. Food for three days. Okay, so there's time to get to her. And you should really just, like, not move. Join the town. Go join that job. You're super good at making meats, dude. We're gonna run out of meat. I need more meat. I need another pasture. That's actually probably a better job for him to work on right now. You can knock him out. Two more pastures, get some more meat so we can make more of that other stuff. Another night falls over Thea and restless souls of the damned. Seek out the living in envy uh, and anger. You could almost feel the approaching wave of these infernal wraiths seeking to burden your souls. But this night, a welcomed guest is seen in the shadows. A Lapiduch, the spirit catcher. This bizarre looking creature resembling an overgrown toad with long claws, yellow warts, and a row of razor-sharp teeth is actually a humble servant of Veles in the old days, tasked with the hunting hunting of wayward souls and misbehaved wraiths, but now, hopelessly, overfed, and ever busy with his task devouring evil spirits. Great, leave the creature to its task. Thanks to the Lappy Dutch, your people sleep well this night, and many feel the magical touch of Veles upon them. What do we gain? Bless of magic. Adds magic for a set number of turns. Ooh. Cool, I have no idea what that does. So somebody in, uh, in Ostosia, a couple of them actually. Wrong one. Have gained modifiers. I don't know what that means. What, what does Bless of Magic actually do? So she's bringing food to them. Let's see, can we actually, like, balance between the two sides? Yeah, I can. Sweet. Alright, so you're gonna give most of your food to her. You keep, like, I don't know, four to take yourself home. Give, like, all of this. Yeah, look at that. We can actually get, like, bonus something. Okay, so she's got her stuff, and we want to take some of this stuff home. Let's filter by, like, equipment. We'll bring as much wood over as she can. So she can carry, like, 50. Three. 
52. Okay, so she'll bring that back. Actually, oh, it's so much wood, isn't it? Alright, whatever. How do I select the, the other expedition? Ah, here we go. Alright, so we'll bring her home, and uh, I might actually... Well, we're, we're going to take the, the group to the Cosmic Tree, but then... We're, eventually, got to bring them home. We got to take care of this uh, this hanged man thing, and uh, you know who knows? Maybe eventually, one of these kids is going to grow up. We got two of them, and uh, we got to get some more tools made, get more research done. Could be cool. All right, I'm gonna take a break here. Thanks for watching, everyone. See you soon.